In today's video, I want to talk about Reform UK and why they want Starmageddon to happen. Starmageddon is uh, what they refer to when Starmer becomes the Prime Minister, which is going to happen thanks to Reform UK. Any uh, opinion poll you look at recently has Reform UK doing pretty well and the Conservatives doing absolute trash. That's in part because um, some of the voters who usually might vote for the Conservatives, especially the people in 2019 who voted for Conservatives, would now rather choose for and vote for uh, Reform UK. Obviously, because of the Brexit uh, conundrum we had in 2019, many of these uh, MPs that the Brexit party had, which is now Reform UK, stood aside for the Conservative Party and helped the Conservatives to win an 80-seat majority. Boris Johnson had to thank the Brexit party because of that. However, in this election, Reform UK are not going to stand aside. They want to annihilate the Conservative Party. Me too. I would like to annihilate them as well. Maybe for different reasons. But um, their annihilation or their wish to annihilate the Conservative Party seems to be more of a thing rather than preventing Starmageddon. Starmageddon is happening because of Reform UK. You cannot deny that, I think. Even though today they tried to have a press conference talking about how um, Starmageddon is uh, not so good and they're not representing the working class people, which may be true. We've seen now uh, some of the policies of uh, Labour, they're definitely moving closer to the centre than the left. But is Starmer a credible politician? I don't know, he flip-flops on everything. He uh, is not as strong as uh, Tony Blair or Gordon Brown, I think, when it comes to charisma. So is he going to be the prime minister because people think he's a good prime minister? I don't know. Maybe not. They just think it's his time. They don't want the Conservatives anymore. But anyway, we, what we have to truly think about is Reform UK. And Reform UK have had a lot of problems recently. Uh, five people, five prospective uh, MPs that they wanted to put forward to election because Reform UK want to stand a want to stand a candidate in every single constituency. That's six hundred and fifty in the UK. Well, at the moment, a few have been kicked out uh, because they don't want to have any people who are racists, sexists, or homophobes. That is a a quote from them. They have a hundred uh, hundreds of people applying for uh, positions to stand as candidates in the next general election for Reform UK. They've kicked out a few recently, like I said. Uh, one of them uh, said that Jews were a problem and caused the world massive misery. Last year, he also said that the only solution was to remove the Muslims from our territory. And these are the kind of people who want to stand as Reform UK politicians. Um, one of the candidates uh, described London as an Islamic state and there would be a Muslim army run by Sadiq Khan. Um, another derogatory term by one of their candidates. Another candidate described Angela Rayner as a slag and said, bum sex, this is where brown babies are from. And um, it's awful, really. Another one said that Africans had the lowest IQ in the world. Uh, it, it, it's horrible comments, and these are people who want to be Reform UK candidates. So you have to really consider whether it's worth voting for Reform UK. Of course, all of these people, I should say, were kicked out by the kicked out by the party. The party want to seem like a sensible party, I think, now. If they want to take a more conservative voters, they have to come across more sensible anyway. I know they're going to get some of the right-wing nutcases, but uh, they also want to get some other people who are maybe right-wing, but not so nutcasey. And I think they're definitely making uh, an effect on political uh, happenings uh, currently in the UK as well. Recently, we've seen Rishi Sunak um, say, oh, well, if it comes to it, we'll leave the ECHR. Do we believe him? No. <laughs> but I think that's in part because of Reform UK. He, he's been told, come on, you've got to say some things like that because Reform UK are taking um, some of our votes away. And they can see it. They can see this happening. Uh, but anyway, thanks to the Reform UK, Labour are on to a supermajority. That's uh, more than 200 seat majority. They probably do whatever they want. And that's in part thanks to Reform UK. I don't know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Will you still vote Reform UK? Of course, a lot of things could happen. One person said in a comment that maybe the Workers' Party of Britain would take some seats. But actually, the Workers' Party of Britain have had absolutely 
uh, none of the same effect as uh, Reform UK have had. I mean, they've got George Galloway in himself. He is a political person. People know him. He has uh, prestige. Uh, he has some reputation about him. But the party itself, maybe not. Uh, the Reform UK is definitely a uh, more solidit solidified uh, political party. It has Nigel Farage as well in the background too. Nigel Farage comes back. Maybe they can take even more votes from the Conservatives. But will in turn into any seats? Probably not. Lee Anderson is on course to lose his seat as well. So uh, many MRP polls, many polls uh, suggesting they will win zero seats. Of course, do we believe opinion polls? Probably not. Some of the opinion polling can be wrong, of course. And we'll see when a general election comes around, of course. But anyway, I'm interested to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. And if you like, subscribe.